All right, as we come back in, are there any questions on uh, how you get out of midcourt trouble? Now that you've tried to hit that shot, felt yourself blocking it and not swinging, any thoughts or questions on on what you want to do? Like I said, big thing is don't panic, don't overswing. When we get nervous because we're in a bad spot, we often swing too much and just get ourselves in a bigger hole than a lesser hole. So as you practice that, as you drill with your your partners, have them be at the line. They're going to start a hard ball at you. You want them to get as you get as low as you can, and you're just going to block three or four, and then try to start to work your way in. I had a question. Uh, one was, why would I move in slowly? Why would I just inch my way in? And it isn't necessarily you're going to inch your way in on three and four and five shots. But you know, if I've hit one that's got myself a little bit in, that's fine. But then I hit my next one, and my goal is to be all the way in. So when you have the opportunity to move in, you absolutely move in. You don't stay back if you have the opportunity to move in. But if you didn't hit a perfect shot, you don't move up and just, you know, kamikaze it and, and be way, ready to be, you know, have the next one hit super hard at you. So, so slow the pace down. If you're not the one at the net, you want to slow down. Now, if the opposite person should be continuing to keep that pace on them and keep the ball on their feet because you have the advantage. Obviously, once they've hit a good enough drop, you just say, okay, they've earned their ticket to the line, and you don't try to swing at a ball that's below the net. That was one of our last clinics. You just drop it in there and let them we'll play the point out from there. But if you're the one that's not, I've had people say that before, well, I'm, they're at the kitchen line, I'm back here, and they just did a very soft, gentle ball, and they allow that team to, to move up. That's not what you want to do either. You keep the pressure on them if you're the one at the kitchen line. Okay, any questions before we go to lobs? Yes? Where do we find the other two uh, They are on YouTube. If you uh, go to the Northern Utah Pickleball Club uh, Facebook page, there's links to them on there. <laughs> All right, so let's talk about lobs. Um, we've all played against a lobber, love them or hate them. We, we've all been there. <laughs> so, you know, there's a time for a lob, and, and there, there are reasons we want to hit a lob, and there are good lobs out there. Um, and there's ways we want to hit a good lob. You know, if you're not a lobber that's done it for years, you think you, you just get frustrated with them, but, you know, you can be one of them too. And so there's some things that take... Uh, that make it so for you to hit a good lob that you need to do. First off, 99% of lobs are hit with your forehand, and they're hit against you or hit with the forehand. You don't see a lot of backhand lobs. It happens, but not very much. So when I'm hitting a lob, the first thing I need is a ball that's, you know, I'm not hit, a, hit an aggressive ball to Mikhail, an aggressive dink. Sorry, do it there. There you go. I'm not going to take that ball and lob it. You're, you're, you're not going to hit lobs when you're in trouble. So, if, you know, if Toys pushed me out wide, I'm not going to hit a very good lob from right there. I'm going to get crushed. So I'm hitting a lob when my feet are set, when I'm in good position, when the ball's in front of me, typically when it's a fairly neutral, mediocre dink shot that I can control. I'm going to hit with my forehand. I want to be leaning forward. And the number one key when you watch the really good lobbers is this. Let's try that again is they're going to put a lot of top spin on it. And the reason you put that top spin is I can, I can lob a ball up, and with that top spin, land it three feet in. So my, I got to be leaning forward when I hit this. And then with that, that wasn't a good one. That was too short. But my goal is I want to try to be in the back of a couple of feet with that lob right there. That's the lob you want to hit, because that top spin just pulls it down in there. But again, if I'm on my back foot, hit one kind of deep to me. If I'm on my back foot, it's very hard to hit topspin. You're not going to hit a good lob from there. So you want to have your feet set. You want to come in, and you want to be, uh, that one I short hopped. Again, you can't short hop a lob. You're not going to get the topspin on it. So you want your feet set. You want your body leaning forward. You want your opponent to also be leaning forward. If my opponent knows I'm going to hit a lob, he'll read that I'm going to hit a lob here, OK? My opponent knows I'm going to hit a lob. They can be back there ready, and I can be in trouble. As opposed to, Corey, I'm going to dink yeah. you. I want you to be, yeah, I'm he's a little bit off balance. He's saving a ball. He's leaning forward, and I lob him. He's going to be in much bigger trouble with that. You know, if I can have them moving around, he doesn't think he, he's going to get a lob on that, and I lob him there, you're going to do a much, you're going to be much more effective than, <sighs> again, if it, the worst thing you want to do is a short lob. So, you know, the ball comes in, I come right here and I lob it up like this. Your partner hates that <laughs> a lot. Uh, so, so when you're going to lob it, what I see, it, it, hit, me, hit me the ball. 
when I see a lot of lobs, I see people almost putting backspin on it. That, that same lob right there, if I would have put topspin, that would have been in. But when they hit it, they're almost scooping under a ball. You can't scoop a lob like this. Do it one more time for me. If I scoop under a ball, I'm not going to hit a clean shot, and I'm not going to get it to be able to stay with any kind of accuracy. So when you're hitting your lob, feet forward, lean up, get topspin on it, and be able to drop it back in the back part of the court. So I want to look almost like this as I hit my lob. As I come in, I'm here with it, hitting that top spin. Uh, so that's how we're going to hit the lob. And at the same time, we're going to talk about how to counter a lob. So what do we say what lobbers want to do? What are they doing to the ball? They're hitting it with their forehand. So the most obvious thing you do to counter a lobber is don't let them get easy forehand balls. So if I'm just hitting a very neutral dink, I can, uh, that, that's an easy ball to lob. But if, if I'm, oh, good shot, too good of a shot. If, I, uh, if, if, I'm, if you know I'm a lobber and I want this ball here at my forehand, push me around, get balls into my feet, hit balls obviously to the backhand. But you know another thing, and this isn't something you hear me say ever in the clinic series, but on, if I'm playing a lobber, take balls at them pretty, you know, I would take a 50-50 ball and hit it right into their chest a few times. So once you get a 50-50 ball, just say, yeah, I know he wants to lob me. I'm, lobbers hate speed. They want that ball nice and soft right there. So this is one time. If you've played, if a person's lobbed you three or four times, say, oh, I'm going to hit you in the chest a couple times. So, so that is one time I would probably, if I was playing against a lobber, I'm going to take a couple balls at them that I normally wouldn't, just so they're not in that normal, feel comfortable routine of like, Okay, we got up here, we got to the kitchen, we had two or three dinks, and then they lobbed me again, and they won the point because of that. So, so one, hit to their backhand. Two, hit it deep into their body. Three, pepper them with a couple balls. So that's, that's how I would defend the lob. But let's say they hit a good lob. So, you know, it, it happens, you know, even somebody that's not a lobber, but in a game where you have someone that is, uh, you know, just a normal point, and you guys can lob me. When, when you get lobbed, maybe a Okay. Yeah, warming up a lob is another thing. So when you get lobbed and it gets past you, the first thing is, my first shot on a lob is to try to drop it in the kitchen. To be able to drop it in the kitchen, to be able to drop it in the kitchen, I need to be behind the ball, so I get all the way past it, and then I just try to scoop it back into the kitchen. I'm not trying to wail on that ball. One of the worst things you can do is say, uh-oh, the ball's past me, and then I come here. And why that's a bad shot, why that's a bad shot is because they would have killed that ball. I'm completely out of position. Let's do it one more time. They didn't know that that's what I was, what I was doing, and I won't normally hit that good shot. So if I come back here and I just wail it, you're out of control, or if it is in play, do one more. Watch where I am. When I've done this, hit it hard, I'm way back here, and now I'm in super trouble again. So drop that ball if you can, if you have to. Instead of swinging hard, if they've hit a great lob, I can't drop it in the kitchen. That was a backhand lob. That's why you don't hit backhand lobs. <laughs> So I, if it's a good one, I'm going to lob it back to him. Try to get it to the back line as far as you can. And the reason I'm lobbing it, it allows me and my partner to get reset. It gives us time. I'm, they might still hit an overhead on that. So go ahead and hit an overhead back to me on this. But I'm, look how set I am. I'm ready as they hit this. I can then be in the point and, and be anticipating it. So I can then reset the point and drop it. So. If you have to lob it, but don't, don't try to hit, you know, the, this is not the lob you want to hit. Because you're going to get that. Make, it, I'd rather have you miss that lob long. Really go for an aggressive, deep lob if you're rescuing it. That's your last option, but it is something you should practice, something you should try. So we're going to go out and practice lobbing. I want one person, we're going to practice it from the baseline. So we're going to start it like this. I'm sorry, we're going to practice overheads. I was already moving on to overheads. Okay. We're going to practice lobbing. We're going to do dink, dink, lob. Okay. So dink, give them an easy one, lob it with topspin. 
And we're not going to, oh, that's a perfect example. We're not going to hit overheads with this, so dink, dink, lob, catch it, and start over. I just want to see everyone lob for about, you know, four or five. Dink, dink, lob. And let's just practice that. No hitting the overheads. I don't want anybody to get hurt with this. So dink, dink, lob. And then maybe halfway through, I'll have everybody switch, and we'll say, try to lob it, and you're, the other person is going to try to make it so they can't lob it. Corey or Kaylee, have anything to add to this before we go out? Uh, Any just like anything, always get your feet set. You rarely hit a ball running, running, running in this game. So if you're going back for a lob, it's not, you know, you can, but really you want to stop, or if you're going to drop back and stop, get your feet set. And always be leaning back into the court, like he's saying. You get your feet set, and you're going forward. You never want to be on your back foot on a shot. And again, when I'm hitting a lob to someone, if my weight's on my back foot, this is kind of what I was showing before. If my weight's on my back foot, I most likely have backspin on the ball, and it's going to be short. If my weight's on the front of my feet, if I'm set and I'm here, I'm going to be able to get the top spin on the ball, and I'm going to be able to get the depth on it. So body positioning is critical, having your feet set and be leaning forward. All right, let's go back out. Same thing. I want everybody on the north side. We'll start with the ball. We'll do dink, dink, lob. So the north side is lobbing. It's a dink, it's a dink, and then lob. We'll come around and, and uh, help everybody out again. Okay. Where you want